Hello from Cleveland for the final day of the Republican National Convention. Last night, we heard from Trump's VP pick, Mike Pence, who used the platform to introduce himself to the country. Also, division continues in the Republican Party. We heard from former Trump rival Ted Cruz, who was actually booed off stage after refusing to endorse Donald Trump. And according to CNN, his wife Heidi had to be escorted out of the arena because Republicans were so angry. Vote for candidates up and down the ticket who you trust to defend our freedom and to be faithful to the Constitution. We're going to talk to Bob Cusack, editor-in-chief at The Hill, to learn more about what this means and learn more about how the Republican Party will fulfill tonight's theme of making America one again. We saw last night Ted Cruz spoke, yeah. refusing to endorse Donald Trump. What does this mean? Uh, it's, it, it's a bad headline for Republicans. Uh, it was a risky move for the Trump campaign. I've never seen a speaker allowed to speak at the convention without endorsing the nominee. And they knew that he wasn't going to endorse an hour before because the campaign sent the embargo text of the speech to reporters. Now, of course, he could have pivoted and maybe added a line saying, I support Donald Trump. He did not do that. I think it's very predictable that he was going to get booed. Um, and I think that the Trump supporters will never forget this. So when Cruz runs, and he will run for president again, uh, there are going to be some Trump supporters that I think won't vote for him ever. So now, speaking to November, why should voters, especially young millennials, Latinos, get behind Donald Trump, the candidate for the Republican Party, when the Republican Party themselves are struggling to get behind him? Yeah, well, that's, that's a big question. I think it's a big issue for Donald Trump because among Latinos, he has an 89% unfavorable opinion, and that was from a Washington Post poll a little while back. So he's got to do a lot in that effort, outreach to Latinos, in order to win this election. As a journalist, how do you make that, you know, visible and apparent to these politicians that Latinos aren't just a single-issue population? It's been a challenge for us, particularly here at the GOP convention, because it's been very, very difficult for us to actually get interviews with some of the movers and shakers in, in the Republican Party. Um, so, you know, we keep trying as hard as we can by uh, constantly calling them and, and in both languages and making sure that they have a forum. And, yeah. and for them to understand that this is not the only issue. And they always tell us Republicans don't want to speak to you because they feel that Spanish language media is going to bombard them with questions on immigration. And that's not true, but we're not given a chance to do so. We're at Media Row and saw that Congressman Steve King of Iowa is here. Earlier this week, he made some controversial comments, so we tried catching up with him to clarify as he made his way into the Quicken Loans arena. Charlie Pierce uh, said that this could be the last convention yep. where angry white people have anything to say about it. a Republican convention. And, and I said, you need to identify those groups that have contributed more than Western civilization. They've yet to do that. They haven't served up any one of them yet. So that's the end of the story until they can come up with some other civilization that's done more than Western civilization. By the way, they're the beneficiaries of it. They live in it. And, and we all do, and we share in the benefits of that. And now and you're known for being very anti-immigrant, so no, I'm, I'm going to ask you. No, I'm not. There's not yeah. a single piece out there that does that. So how will I, we... I am opposed to illegal immigration okay. only, and there's no record to anything else. How will we fix no, that? And, and I'm just not going to listen anymore because... How will we fix that this year? Made. What will the Congress do to fix immigration? No comment from the Congressman. <laughs> Delegates have been meeting all week here at the Republican National Convention. It is Thursday. It is the final day. In just a few short hours, Donald Trump will officially accept the party's nomination. From Cleveland, Ohio, for the Republican National Convention, I'm James Willow-Lobos for Fuse TV.